Never done this before, so this could fail, and then you guys can watch it on video. All right, three, two, one. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And uh, as you guys can see, the hood is up on the Kia. Um, so what happened? Well, yesterday I went to clean the car, came back, um, did the interior, and then right after maybe two hours, um, came back to the car, 12 volt battery, dead. Thankfully, I'm in my garage, so I didn't have to um, lock the car, but as you guys can see, pitch black. Can't lock it, can't do anything. Uh, hood is up, right? So, completely dead. Now, I, I did service on this car. When was this? About a month ago, I raised that concern because I had a notification on the dashboard saying my 12 volt is uh, running low. They said, don't need to um, uh, replace one, simply buy a charger um, that you can use at home and trickle charge your battery every few days. Um, so let me show you guys what I have. So I went to my local shop, which in Canada is Canadian Tire, and I bought one of these, the Noco Genius 5, okay? Trickle charger. So here's the battery, connected it as it should be, right? You raise this one here and you've got the positive side there, right? So connected it um, yesterday around seven. There's my outlet. Yesterday around seven, this morning, um, obviously the battery is not charged enough to start the car. And I also used it prior to this as a precaution, right? So I would plug this in um, every few days just to make sure that the 12 volt is doing well. Apparently it did not work because car completely died. So I totally understand that these chargers are for maintenance purposes only. It's not gonna jumpstart the car, I know that, okay? Um, but I did the maintenance, as I was told by the Kia dealership. Um, I'm not sure why they don't want to replace a 12 volt. Um, I have extended warranty on this. It would have been free for me. Maybe that's the case. I have no idea. But honestly, I'm getting tired, very, very tired of Kia service. Um, from me having those issues with brakes going out, you know, after just purchasing the car, you guys can watch the video, I'll put it up here. Um, you know, these problems, mechanical issues on a car like this, well, you know, I know they do happen. Cars die, ice cars die, right? But it's just like when there is a fault, I get a notification, I tell it to the Kia service people when I went in for my service and then nothing has been done. So what's the next step? Well, obviously, um, this is not a jump starter. So um, I need to go <laughs> by bicycle um, to the nearest store, which is where I bought this one, and exchange this for the same uh, brand, but uh, a jump starter that can jump start this car for me so that I actually, I actually can drive it and then start charging up the 12 volt properly. All right, so that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna take the bicycle, my wife and I, and we're gonna ride down to our Canadian tire to try and, and get a jump starter from this company. I, I really like this brand. They seem to be doing a good job with uh, all their products and it's not their fault, obviously, that this didn't work. Uh, it's simply the information that I was given by, um, by Kia service. I'm back from the store, finally. Ugh. Uh, half an hour that took to go and come back on bicycles and it's really, really cold today. So, um, but anyway, managed to exchange that charger for um, a jump starter. We've got the unit itself, very nicely made, good quality. Um, obviously clamps. Then we have charging cable. Sadly, it's a micro USB, not USB type C, but it doesn't matter. You've got a little 12 volt um, to USB A plug converter thing, obviously instructions and everything else and a very nice carrying pouch. Okay guys, now the unit has been fully charged. It's here, I'll flip the camera around and show you. So here goes nothing. Um, let's see if it works. Um, just so you see, car totally dead. Try to turn it on, nothing works. 
So, here we go. That's the machine. Then we hook it up to the battery. We got the positive side under this little cover here. Um, so let me just get it hooked up because it requires two hands. These are quite hefty. Um, so I just want to make sure it's done correctly. And then, yeah, we'll see what happens. Got the key, got the machine. Let me just open the door a little bit. Cause it has to be quick, apparently. There'll be clicking sounds. Let's see what happens. Okay, never done this before. So this could fail and then you guys can watch it on video. All right, three, two, one. Things are supposed to cycle, nothing cycling. Nothing. <sighs> there should be some clicking sounds. Obviously, we're not getting any clicking sounds. Okay. They say wait 30 seconds, so we'll wait. Second attempt. So now we're going to try to turn it on and we're going to use the force function. So let's see if that works. And there we go. You guys have seen it. Now I got it disconnected. Uh, red was first, black is second. So black first. Okay. So the battery was so low that I had to use the manual override button, which is this one here with the thing. So you only use it if the battery is super low and they say in the manual, try two times, uh, one time, wait 30 seconds, try again, wait 30 seconds. And then that's why we did it a few times, but now it works and it's alive. So let me show you guys. All right. So car is on, which is nice. Oh, okay. Oh, lights we keep on just uh, there we go. And what's interesting is, um, you know, the large capacity uh, EV battery is like more than 50% charged. So I really don't understand why Kia has such an issue with 12 volt, but let's get into that for a quick summary. Okay. So all done. I am very happy it worked. Uh, the battery must be so low though. Wow, that we had to boost it to um, to, to get the car to start, but um, at least we got there at the end. All right, so that's what it matters. But I just want to mention like, I, when I had this problem happen yesterday, you know, with the car dying and everything, I went on the forums and I noticed that there is a lot of people who have these issues and it's not just with Kia, Hyundai cars, right? Other cars have the same problem. A lot of EVs have that same problem, I wanted to say. Um, but especially what I saw was problems with Kia Hyundai cars. And then, you know, you go on YouTube and you see a lot of that stuff, right? A lot of people sharing their um, frustrations with the 12 volt. You know, uh, we have this amazing car and then we rely on uh, lead acid batteries, you know, for the infotainment and things like that. and. I don't know, something needs to change, right? Like Tesla is doing, 
you know they have now invested in in better battery technology and they've done a bunch of updates right um so kudos to tesla as always yeah so tesla is using lithium-ion batteries right now on all their new cars uh, the older ones had some issues obviously um, there's also forum posts about that but all new cars have lithium-ion 12 volts which, you know, they have to support the dog mode, camping mode, um, sentry mode, all of that stuff, right? I just hope that one day manufacturers will figure out a way to use the high voltage battery for everything in this car. Um, and then that we don't have to rely on this ancient uh, technology of 12 volt batteries that can fail at any time. And then your car is just undrivable, right? So I hope that happens. So now what's next? Well, I have to charge up this 12 volt. Um, I gave back that little trickle charger. It's useless. I'm not even going to bother. I'd rather have this jump starter than that. So what do we need to do to start charging the battery? Well, we have to put the car into uh, utility mode or just have it on. But I think utility mode is a little bit better because it turns off all the driving stuff and it just focuses on keeping the climate and making sure that uh, the rest of the car is functioning well. So let's see, how do we turn on utility mode? So utility mode is quite easy to turn on. All we have to do is go into our menu here and into settings, okay? And then we go to convenience and then we click on utility mode and then we say yes. And now it is in utility mode. So that little green icon that says it's ready to drive has disappeared now. Obviously this is different for different cars. Um, I know in some Hyundai, new Hyundai cars, it's under the EV. Uh, section. So um, this is for a 2021 Kia Soul EV Limited, but um, as I know, Kia and Hyundai cars, EVs across the board have utility mode, which is similar to camp slash dog mode on a Tesla. Okay, so now we have utility mode set up. I'm hoping it's going to charge up. And here's a message to Kia. All right, look, um, I've had some major issues with this car when I first bought it and stuff like putting in really, really cheap, really, really bad 12 volt batteries that fail across the board because there's tons of people online who are saying that these batteries are the worst. It doesn't work for me, right? I mean, you can save money on many things, right? But I think that some of the most basic things that allow us to use the car on a daily basis need to be robust and need to actually work, right? Like I had the braking issue. I'll put the video up here again. That's another thing that is vital to the way that the car works. And if it doesn't work and I don't have trust in it, well, then I don't have trust in the company, right? Same thing here. Imagine being stranded somewhere out in the middle of nowhere, not being able to start the car and you don't have a jump starter. How much money are you going to spend to get roadside assistance over to you? Hopefully they know what to do with an EV. If they don't, they need to tow you to the nearest garage where then someone might do that for you, right? Yeah, that's unacceptable. Um, I think that given the technology that's in this, these cars, you know, the, the, the battery management system for the 12 volt needs to be way better than it is right now. The quality of batteries needs to be better than it is right now. And that needs to be fixed because honestly, yeah, I'm not a fan, all right? I'm not a fan. So guys, if you have an EV, especially if you have a Kia or Hyundai, Go get yourself one of those uh, uh, jump starters. Again, links are in the, the description of the video. And uh, have it in the car just in case because you see things like this can happen. All right. Thanks so much for watching. If you like the video, make sure you like it down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and I will see you in the next one. All right. Take care. Bye.